Good morning, everyone. I'm having my first coffee of the day. It is nine in the morning, and I just finished my Jamondo workout. It was a sweaty one. I'm obviously red and flustered looking. I have been putting the coconut creamer from Vital Proteins in my coffee, although I did a rookie mistake. You can see up close all the little bits because the trick is to kind of make like a paste first. So I put the scoop in and then a little bit of water and like blend it all up prior to putting in my coffee. And I just didn't today, so it's gonna be a little lumpy, this coffee. But doing it that way, it's like a hint of coconut flavor and it's really lovely. Doing it this way is not the best, so do it the other way. Anyways, you guys seem to like whenever I do like a little, um what I do in a day, not what I do, you guys already know what I do, but like just follow me along and a little bit more chill, not so sit down tutorial, and I feel like I've been doing a lot of those lately, so let's just spend the day together. Okay, I've taken a shower and I started my makeup because my camera died, but foundation, I actually haven't worn this one in ages and I don't know why because it is so good. It is the ever so loved, the so ever loved, the very loved. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I think I have 6.5 on. I did put a little bit of that Saint Tropez um, Natural Mist on last night, and I can hold a little bit of color, so 6.5. Then I have my Rose Ink LX020 Concealer to lift, a little bit of setting powder, and then the cream bronzer that is getting made for this late spring early summer so that is what we have on at the moment literally as I was doing that I had something delivered it is the new Maybelline the colossal curl bounce mascara I actually really love the is it the colossal smoky lash <clears throat> that's one of the mascaras I really rate it doesn't transfer and it's a little bit more volumizing rather than like lengthening so I have high hopes for this. This apparently, the whole marketing behind it is it has like a curling factor in it. Like you don't need to use a lash curler, which you guys know I love a lash curler. So I thought we'll try this together. Although I need to put a little bit of something on my brows. So let's do my brows first. Keeping it very simple on my brows, precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. Let's go in with this bad boy. We're getting a little bright. I'm gonna move you over here. And they said don't use a lash curler so we're not going to okay that is one coat it definitely lifted my lashes like that's without even using a lash curler what a pleasant surprise i'm gonna do another coat on my other eye and then go in with the second coat because <clears throat> sorry my voice is really off today i always go in with two coats so gotta be fair okay i am thoroughly impressed with the application of that mascara normally I apply mascara and it's whatever. I'm like, they're all kind of the same. It's the wear that really matters to me. But the fact that my lashes look so lifted and curled, like whenever mascaras claim something, that's where I kind of zone in on. Like it was really claiming like this curl factor, bounce or whatever. I don't have necessarily like straight or downwards <clears throat> lashes. I do have longer lashes, but I definitely do use a lash curler to lift them. Like. They need that normally. So the fact that this is no lash curler is a little bit insane. So I'd be curious what this is like on someone who has very straight lashes um, to see if it lifts it a little bit. Application is A+. Plus. I love how my lashes look. Like they're full, but still like fluttery. It's a great look. Okay. You are gonna be involved in the wear test, so hopefully it lasts long. Okay, so I took my extensions out and my hair has gotten pretty long like i don't think it's been this long in ages like that is crazy i truly think it is that vital proteins because i'm at that three and a half month mark and that's always when i think results really kick in so i'm going to continue with that i'm going to show you how i blow dry my hair with the air wrap now that i don't have extensions in i feel like it's always a little bit of a different outcome I have added a couple different things to my routine product wise. First one being this Color Wow, the Dream Coat Nat Super Natural Spray. Um, I like it. It's what I've been using for about four or five weeks now. I got it in Florida. 
and you're only supposed to use it every couple of washes and it just helps with the texture of your hair it helps the style stay in and it's almost like a protective spray as well so really like this and then i love a little bit of volume and bounce and one of my favorite hair brands ever is kevin murphy i've used this for a while now it's the blow dry ever bounce so i just put a little bit more at the mid section of my hair and the newest product to my little routine i had this actually in a mini form and i used it all up and they actually just sent it over um in the full size which was very kind so it's the kevin murphy full again thickening lotion so if you feel like you have thinner hair it really is like a lotion formula or texture you just rub a little bit like a dime size amount and i like to keep it on the mid end sections of my hair i don't really go into my roots so if you find like i have a lot of hair at the root area of my head the root section but then it really tapers off so this kind of helps give the illusion of a thicker strand all the way down okay it was starting to get a little dark there it's going in and out it's about to like thunder it looks like i'm taking the blow dryer section for the air wrap and i'm gonna blow dry my hair till about 80 percent okay I'm now gonna take this brush little head part and i'm gonna separate my hair into two pieces and i'm just gonna start to smooth out my hair this is really great for like the top section so that it kind of reduces the frizz and just makes it look a lot smoother. I still have a little bit of like dampness. I can feel it more in that midsection still. Guys, I still can't get over how long my natural hair is. Like insane. Having extensions, I think because I don't really put heat everywhere on my hair, obviously the extensions are normally this area and the heat is normally there um has helped and then since about september i've only been getting like a t-bar of like refresh with my hair like just around here and the top like middle section so this whole mid back section hasn't been touched for so long it is quite dark like i do need to go brighten it up a little bit but like it's insane i think i'm gonna continue with the air wrap i think i'm just gonna add some volume why not This is a great example of it freshly being done. Like I just finished this side to this side having like the relax kind of kick in. So this is kind of what it ends up looking like. And this is what it looks like freshly. So like the difference is like obviously length, like it gets pulled up with the bigger curl, but it does relax and it just looks so like effortless. Again, still can't get over the length of my hair. It looks uneven now, but this side will fall a little bit. I like to use my Kevin Murphy Session Spray. You already know my obsession with this. It's not like intense. It's just a very lightweight hold one, which I like. I think too much hairspray is adding weight, which actually drops the curl. So this is just like the perfect amount of hold that I like, especially for every day. Like, not going anywhere fancy so this is the hairspray of choice we had a roast chicken last night from marks and spencer's like one of those chicken in a bag kind of chickens and uh we kept it i let it marinate in water <laughs> overnight what's it called not marinate mm. steep soak yes, we got stock from our chicken <laughs> last night and now i'm making chicken noodle soup so i just literally cut up and we'll patty cut up the carrot, two carrots, a carrot and a half, two stalks of celery, a cube of chicken stock, obviously the leftover chicken, and a little bit of curry powder. It tastes really nice. So that's stewing away. And then I think Jane and Peter are going to call around because they have a little bit of a cold and chicken noodle soup heals a cold, right? Okay. I am literally just back. You're on a towel right now. Hence it's not staying still which i don't know if it will um one quick update mascara i don't know if it's from me doing my hair with the dyson air app because the heat really there was a lot of heat in this room um 
made it transfer a little bit there. So I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm gonna give it another wear test tomorrow because I don't know. I don't know yet. I love how it looks, but there was a transfer problem there. But I don't know if it was because of blow drying my hair. So I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. Moving on, I went to drop off Olive at nursery and I had to do a drop off at the post office. But then I went to Dunelm because tomorrow I have a photo shoot for our bathroom. I worked with a local company um, with our bathroom. They gave a really lovely discount. We still obviously paid for a majority of the stuff in the bathroom, uh, in our master bathroom. I bought some towels for a ladder that we have in there, but I also picked up these massive pillows. This is my head reference for size. They're 62 by 62. And I always wanted like three big pillows at the back. I have two like normal ones, but they're just not the size of the bed. And I have, well, we have a super king because Patty is so tall and it just, it's just not the right pillow placement. So I bought these alongside some pillowcases. These are 65 by 65 so they're a little bit bigger but i think they need to be these are dorma um purity cardingham you can look at this for reference but they have a little bit of texture they're still like a nice creamy white which our bedding is like a creamy white linen so i thought the texture would be nice so let's put it together okay i can tell you right off the bat that the pillow like the actual pillow not the case is a bit too small for 65. I would need, I think 67 because it's feather so you can squish it in and it would look fuller. So I don't think I would want a bigger pillow because that literally looks like half the bed and three of them would just be squishy. So I'm gonna keep the pillows, like the inserts, the casing, as much as it's beautiful, it's like a stark white, like it's still not a creamy white compared to everything else going on here. And I think it's just a bit intense looking. So I'm gonna return the cases, but keep the pillows and look for better cases because this is what we had initially. And you can see they're just like a little too tiny. Like I like the three in the back. I think that looks really classy and elevates the bed, but the pillowcases are wrong. So I'm gonna return those. Okay, this is what it looks like. Obviously need to get covers, but I really like the three in the back. I think that just like lifts the bed. The front situation, I don't know. I think I need to get three like of those ones. So it's like all dark. And then I'm thinking what, like the case in the front and the middle can be the three back ones. So it brings in that like charcoaly color cause I don't want it to be all light. I want some depth. So I think the piping on the middle one, like just replicate those two in the back but then just have three in the front. What do you think? And then just like a long pillow, like a really long like bolster pillow. So three, two, three, bolster. What do we think? I'm not sure I've ever given a final, I guess, tour of our master bathroom. So I'll just do that now. <laughs> Everything like structure or, you know, purpose wise is from Bassett's Colerain, which is a Northern Irish company. So um, the tap, sink this unit the top the radiator which i'm obsessed with i love the color i think it's in latte um the toilet the shower doors the shower base and obviously the shower head are all bassets and we went with this brush gold Finish, the tiles are from Ceramica in Bangor, which is also a Northern Irish family run business. Same with these ones. This is the shade Oatmeal here. I wonder if I can zoom out a little bit. There you go. So I did like pretty much half the wall in tile and then I finished it off with like a brushed brass um, metal line. This mirror is actually from Dunelm and I think it was like 40 pounds and it came in black, but I just spray painted the rim to kind of tie in with everything the Lights I got them. Oh, I Honestly found them on Google, but this part was like a really like Bright shiny gold. So I just sprayed it the same color as this gold 
which matches perfectly with the faucet, which we love. But yeah, I wanted it to be all, oh, and this ladder's from Etsy, and it was actually really well priced. Um, look over here, but we just wanted it to be very natural. This rug is TK Maxx, it's like 20 pounds, so good. Very natural and inviting and cozy, and we love it, so good. The color is warm white, I think, or white number three from Lick, which is a warm white. We are just getting ready to head out to our friends Sarah and Paul, Paul's, Sarah and Paul's house for a little Valentine's Day dinner date. I think Paul is making a recipe that he has been raving about, so I'm very excited to have it because I am so hungry. And we were on starters, so we're making fresh bruschetta. We have a baguette that we're gonna cut. We have garlic butter that we'll toast on top. And then we just chopped up tomatoes, red onion, and some fresh basil, a whole bunch of sea salt. And then we also bought a balsamic glaze. I'm very excited about that. We fed the kids some stew, some Irish stew. Jane and Peter, thank you so much for dropping that around. Uh, we're about to put them to bed. Our babysitter is about to arrive. And then we're away, which I'm just gonna bring you guys because why not? I'm gonna put this, I don't know where the little spritzer part is, Gisu hair perfume in. I love the smell of it. It's obviously an acquired scent. It's the one from Negan Miserelli. Definitely butchered that, but it smells wonderful. And I just touched up my blush with Girl Next Door. I love it. I need to do my lips, but can't be bothered right now. Good morning, everyone. Obviously, I didn't vlog last night. We had so much fun with Sarah and Paul, and I genuinely forgot I even brought my camera. So, you know, it was a good night. We are taking it a little bit kind of slow. I need coffee because it's gonna be a busy morning. The team for the bathroom photo shoot comes here in like an hour and a half, and I need to obviously get ready here. All of us to get dropped off at preschool. Oscar was just dropped off at nursery. Patty's cleaning the shower <laughs> at the moment. I cleaned all like the surfaces and like walls. Um, so it's gonna be a busy day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this random video. Let me know what else you wanna see and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.